So welcome to a video that's a little different. Sammy came over, I was at a meet last night, and Sammy came over and stayed over, and uh, we actually shot a ton of work, a ton of footage, doing a diverter valve on both his car and my car. A bunch of people just staring at me over there. It's freaking awesome. And all the footage was completely ruined. We did diverter valve, we fixed his boost leak. It was a charge pipe that was uh, messed up down below. Um, next to the intercooler and that's where all his boosts come from that's where that big whistle was coming from it's about maybe four hours worth of work I guess I'm by a school because there's a bunch of kids just kind of walking around pulled up to this uh, you know kind of spot over here just to try to get some uh, clips of my new blow off valve so I actually I installed a uh, CTS turbo blow off valve Mr. Sammy installed a diverter upgrade from Forge on his Mark V. Now that one was a pain in the butt to uh, kind of wrap up. It was uh, it was really tough getting to the bolts. They actually put it underneath the car instead of on top of the car, which makes it a whole lot easier. So I'm actually gonna show you how I installed it. Um, it's already installed, so I can't really, you know, kind of walk you through step by step, but I'll try my best to kind of recuperate this footage and Put some content out for you guys. I said this in the other video, well the one that should have got printed. Um, there are pretty much three bolts that hold in the diverter valve, the stock one. So pretty much just take those off and I, and I talked about how every VW owner should own a set of extended uh, ball allens because it just makes jobs like this a lot easier. So once you plug in the diverter valve, the only thing you really need to know is uh, the hose sort of uh, direction. So the one at the very bottom closest to the engine is going to run to this thing over here, the plug underneath the sensor where the sensor clips in. The one at the top of the sensor is going to run to the one at the top furthest away from the engine on the blow off valve. And then the other one that comes from the outside is actually going to get tapped into the side over here. Let me see if you can actually see it from the side over here. But you pretty much just do that. Uh, take that hose clip off of there and then uh, put the T that they give you uh, from CTS Turbo in there and then tap it. That's going to be your boost tap for the top of this. Uh, and then everything else, just, it's just a matter of just kind of bolting everything in, zip tying all the little corners and uh, getting it all together. Now Sammy's car was a lot different. There was a boost tap up here that you had to do and actually run a hose all the way down to the bottom where the diverter valve was. Down there, it's imperative that you use ball allens because if you try to use uh, Torx bits, you're gonna strip it out and it's gonna be so much harder to take off later on. Nine times out of 10, those things down there are also gonna be Loctite, so they're gonna be pretty hard to get off. So get yourself a very small, like I would say like a four inch um, ratchet with a ball allen at the end of it um, I don't remember what size ball allen it is, but you guys can kind of figure it out and uh, and do that. And that's going to make your life a whole lot easier. Um, I'm sorry that uh, obviously I lost that footage. It really, It's really bummed me out because we had a ton of fun over here just kind of hanging out and uh, doing car work. <laughs> I'm actually going to call Sammy and uh, see how he feels about this. As you can tell, my nails are all still freaking dirty from doing Sammy's car. Pulling them up, see how he feels about it. Yo. Yo, bro, guess what? What? All the footage from today got deleted. No! I swear, not a single clip, man. I think the uh, SD car was full, and it didn't tell me for some reason, and it just didn't work. That is fucked. Yeah, bro, so I literally just did a clip of my uh, blow-off valve over here. But it sucks, bro. We lost everything. All the clips, everything. How hard was it to install that diverter valve of yours? It was, it was crazy. I had that video. I uh, know. It would be so much nicer if we had a video for somebody else to watch, right? <laughs> yeah. Damn, I know. I think we jinxed it because we kept talking about how no one has this video. I guess wasn't meant to be with that video. <laughs> That's it, brother. It's just maybe maybe we're not the first ones to mess up. But all right, brother. Uh, get to yeah, work, man. On it. Yeah, I know. I am. Yeah, so that was pretty much one of the biggest disappointments uh, ever since I started my YouTube channel. But you know what? Things happen for a reason. And uh, the blow-off valve on this sounds awesome. I know before you guys hose me that I 
install the blow off valve after I took off the spacer and said that I took it off because it was too loud. This sounds freaking fun. It's it's such a different tone um, than than the spacer itself, and it actually I actually really like how it sounds. With the exhaust doesn't overpower it, which is good. It doesn't power the exhaust, which is also good. And uh, yeah, but my carbon fiber came out sick though. So we got some other DIY videos coming up. Uh, probably you know probably Sunday or um, next week at some point. But that was pretty much it. Uh, to that new subscriber that I met, what's up, brother? Um, it was good to meet you, and uh, if anyone else sees me out there who is a subscriber or has watched the videos before, make sure you guys uh, come up to me at the meet. It's pretty much going to cut it there. See you in the next one, guys. Peace out.